Now, what's good about our society, <laughs> everybody has their, you know, the opportunity to put their two cents in about everything. So we all have uh, a chance to say our, our piece about anything. Now, on Obama's new two years of free college, I mean, there's certain people that think that this is crazy. We don't want to do this and everything. And, and so I interviewed somebody who, the Reason Magazine, and these people are libertarians, and, uh, so they're against anything that the government does. But it's interesting, we have to, even though you're for something, to understand the other side to see that there may be cracks in the system that, that is happening, that they you know, will see first before other people because they're just looking for the bad stuff. You know, if people are only looking for the good stuff, they're gonna ignore all the potential bad stuff. But you look for people who are only looking for the bad stuff, it's a way to identify maybe what's wrong with something. And when you see this interview, what's interesting to me about, uh, he really identifies uh, how you know, this could be another like student loans for higher education. I mean, we start giving out more money for four-year colleges and, and loans to everybody. Well, the colleges were getting all this money and the students had to pay for it, you know, and the colleges grew and they, you know, got bigger, fatter salaries for everybody and more administration and, you know, less education. They were building fancy gymnasiums on their campuses instead of libraries and stuff like that to attract people. You know, so they could get loans from the government to go to their college, you know. So it was an arms race kind of thing. And, and I think that was the problem with, you know, all the student debt we have. So that's a, the problem with the two-year colleges. I think there's a potential of this happening. The downside is that we give this money to community colleges and they're getting money from heaven and, and so if they Shanghai more people in no matter what and uh, uh, they're just going to get more money to spend on themselves or whatever and so there has to be control. So after listening to him you see that if we do something like this the important part I think is to have some kind of control so that we have don't have the same problem we did with the four-year colleges, right? So we know education is needed, you know. But how? So what's this? Well, Scott Jackford of Reason Magazine, Reason.com. Boy, I've been reading your stuff for years and years, Scott. It's nice to have you guys who, you know, seem the most reasonable politically in the country now. The right's got so right and the left's got so left. And you guys, you never know what side of the issue you're on. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, we can't peg you that easy. Uh, which is nice, and I think is more intellectually honest than you know people with strong ideologies. But that aside, really, the uh, as you know, the uh, president came out with this thing about everybody's going to go for two years of college for free. So I mean, it sounds great, and I know you guys think about this kind of stuff. So I want to know what what's the downside of something like that happening? Well. Look at it this way. Of course, we all know that there's no such thing as something for free. Right. You know? And we, we, we know that Oops. this is... Really? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to my career. When the, <laughs> when the government offers something for free, somebody is paying for it yeah. somewhere. And so the issue with a, a free community college is uh, where does that money come from to cover the cost of teaching people? And uh, what we know, what we've seen is that college costs have skyrocketed huh. over the past 10, unbelievably, way above inflation, way above the cost of anything else is outrageous. And um, so the idea of a free college sounds like sounds great because you, you get to just not have to deal with that problem. But, but here's the issue. The reason why community college costs have increased and four-year college costs have increased is because there's been this huge bloat in administrative costs. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not adding more professors. They're right. not adding more teachers. They're adding more staff and administrators to people to, for people to run programs. Fancy healthcare centers, health centers and spas. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Same thing on the education level. And so what happens is this money, this this free college, the yeah. money that's used to that, it's not going to go to the students. Like, you know, so we offer this free program. Students aren't going to see a cent. They're not going to be yeah. sending checks. They're just going to send the money to colleges. Mm -hmm. And what happens then is there's no longer any incentive for colleges to reduce costs. It's yeah. going to cause the cost of colleges' mm -hmm. uh, education to actually increase. Um, during the recession, 
uh, a lot of colleges uh, cut back on staff or salaries for the actual uh, teachers, for professors and adjuncts, right. the people who are actually responsible for teaching your right. kids. But they still added to administrators. So at community colleges, they added during all of this salaries and employment wow. for professors were flat. But they wow. added three administrators yeah. for every thousand college students. Wow. So, so, and, so, so in other words, you're saying that it's sort of like the well, even like whether you're, uh, you know, the universities that are getting kids to borrow money to go to college, they get the money and hire staff and put nice, nice swimming pools in their, on their campus and all this kind of stuff, and, and so that inflates the cost of. of I mean, actually, you know, when I was in college, I think professors made hardly anything. Now, the you know, 150 grand is like nothing in these big schools for professors to make, you know, which is amazing. Yeah, and big schools. Yeah. And the community colleges, you know, community colleges are cheap because they're heavily subsidized yeah. already. And there's lots of, and as right. of course, you know, there, there's plenty of grants and, and scholarships for, for community right. college students. And, you know, they, that's how they keep the cost down. Um, you know, faculty at community colleges don't make the kind of money yeah. that faculty at four-year and, and private colleges do. So you're saying it's the administration. So you're fearing it's the same will happen now at the community college that how the four-year colleges are using the students loan money <laughs> because the price of that college education went up so much so they're borrowing money to give right. to the college to do what the hell they want. So now you're saying that that is something that could happen on the community college level where the community college is getting more students. I guess they're going to get more federal money for every student they have, right? Right, and so there's no reason for them to say um, not raise tuition. Yeah. Uh, so there's, a, there's, no, there's been nothing indicated that there's a cap uh, mm -hmm. on what the government will pay. Yeah. So there's no reason ah, not to raise tuition. I and see. then you have to be in certain programs to qualify for this. So if you're, you have to be going for an associate's degree, Right. Um, that is certainly a large chunk of why people go to community colleges, but right. there's other reasons, right. job training. And right. it will, the uh, president's plan will include certain job training programs, but ones that the government approves of. Right. So, right. Certain, so someone, you know, the, the yeah. immediate thing that happened after I wrote about this is that somebody asked me um, on Twitter, it's like, well, well, if you don't qualify for this program, is your tuition going to increase? Mm. And my response was very likely. There's yeah. no, there's no longer a reason for colleges to hold right. down tuition costs. Yeah, yeah, no, and I guess that's what's happened on the uh, four level, four year level, because you know, uh, kids who just get more loans and the families get loans to pay, and then it's become quite a status symbol now, I guess, uh, to have all these fancy buildings and. Uh, so it, it's, gosh, and you're right. I mean, I could see more government, it's sort of like the housing. You know, if you got some, the government was giving money for housing, so hey, you're going to get it. And, and so it, it inflates something that maybe shouldn't be inflated. <laughs> right. Yeah. And the last thing we want, you know, and, and the, one of the things, you know, one of the criticisms of community colleges, but what's also great about it is um, it, has a, it has a very high dropout rate, mm -hmm. very high. You, some, some states have like less than a 10% completion right. rate. But that actually, you know, the fact that we have a system that's relatively inexpensive where people can drop in and out of right. to increase their, you know, to improve their education, that's a good thing. Um, I actually started in community colleges myself before, mm. before, and I did that. I got an associate's degree, transferred to cool. a four-year school. Uh -huh. And I had to take, it took me more than two years yeah. you know, because of certain circumstances. Uh, and just making it free doesn't necessarily fix right. those circumstances. Because I didn't pay, it was very cheap. It was extremely cheap, you know, and I understand that it was heavily subsidized. I got scholarships, I got grants. I didn't have to get loans right. um, for community college, but but uh, I had to I had to take my time with it, you know, and and uh, so so that's a beneficial thing about it. And what I would hate to see is that community colleges become less flexible. Ah, because of trying to take advantage of this government program. Right. So in other words, if people have to go half time, well, then yes. if I'm only going a quarter time, I mean, I got nothing, bupkis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, things like that. Or a, a program that I think is the future to take for a skill. And if you don't, then I don't get the money. And uh, right. yeah, so that that's yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. Well, I mean, another thing, I mean, if that is bad, I mean, I, I run into people overseas where higher education is all free, you know? I mean, people like France and, you know, uh, 
uh, I was just interviewing somebody over there, the young people, the engineers, like, yeah, they, they don't even think about tuition because it's all free. <laughs> <laughs> they can't get over it. Now, I don't know how they manage the cost, but um, we, they don't see, well, they don't have student debt, I guess, because it's free like we do. <laughs> but it has a lot less, they have a lot less academic freedom. You know, yeah. it's like the government, pro this, this program would decide whether or not uh, they would pay for the education that right. you're going for. Uh, based on what you're, what you're studying. Yeah. No. I mean, I, well, I'm kind of guy. I hate being told what to do. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why I don't you know how many people told me I can't wear the question mark suit. You know, I, I was thrown off TV stations and everything when I start wearing this stuff. But man, you just keep doing it. Yeah. Well, that's good to know, and that's good to hear the other side of this because it's so easy to jump on something that hey, ice cream's good. Why not more? You know. And, <laughs> And to realize there's bad parts of this, and we got to be careful what we do. Uh, it's not easy to answer us for anything. So it's nice having you guys there, Scott. And that's Reason.com, Reason right. Magazine. And I was telling you earlier, I, I, I did a video with some young guys who yes. got a big reward from you guys. And so thank <laughs> you for doing that. <laughs> and actually, I got rerunning on my site again one of these days. Oh, so, excellent. That would be great. Great. Well, thank you again, Scott. Take care. Thanks for having me. Bye.